Does any of these limiting beliefs resonate with you? Number one, I am not unique. And that is a limiting belief, believe it or not. I don't know what I want. That is a huge limiting belief. You'd be surprised when you don't know what you want. You know you want something, but you don't know what you want. That is a limiting belief because you don't have clarity on what you want. Um, I don't have time. That's another big one. Everyone else has it figured out except for me. It's a biggie. I can do it myself. I don't need anyone's help. And that is so big, especially with women. We know we got it all figured out. I'm good. I don't need any help. I don't need any support. Is that you? Do you tell yourself that? That you got everything figured out? You don't need any help? Well, that's a limiting belief, just so you know. I'm not good enough. That's a major one as well. I have to fix it or change something before I can do X. You know, have you heard that before? I'm not worthy. That's a big one. And sometimes you may not say that to yourself that I'm not worthy. But if you're desiring a thing and you're questioning, why why should I want that? My mom, my dad, my sister or brother never had it. So why should I? That is a, a unworthiness um, limiting belief. So those are just some limiting beliefs that may resonate with you. There are a whole bunch of others. So I, I want you to take the time now to sit quietly and think of what, what's coming up for you that's blocking you or preventing you from moving forward with the desires that you've identified that you want to manifest in your life and in your business. And take the time to reframe these limiting beliefs into a new belief because that's the work that has to be done. To start a new belief, reframe those old beliefs into a new belief that's positive, into a belief that's going to move you forward and that's going to move you from stuck to moving forward with momentum and intention. So first thing, you write it down on a piece of paper. You write down the limiting belief that's coming up for you. And then you acknowledge, you, 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 you know, you at visit, what's the word I'm looking for? You verbally say that you're aware of this, this limiting belief. You acknowledge it. Because sometimes, you know, limiting beliefs, we develop them out of safety for whatever situation it may come up to keep you safe. So you acknowledge that this limiting belief may have kept you safe and protected at one point, right? And then number three is to reframe it into a new belief. You thank it for, for protecting you, or you thank it for showing up or for being there, but now it's time to reframe it so that you can move forward. So for example, I'm just referring to my notes here. Um, an old belief is, I don't know what I want. So a new empowering belief could be, I have a clear future, future and the completion of the steadfast actions I take towards my vision is the best measure for my success. So that is a, a reframe limit, new belief now that you've reframed that old limiting belief. So I want you to take all the limiting beliefs that shows up for you or you become aware of and reframe them into a limiting belief that's empowering, that's going to inspire you, that's going to encourage you, that's going to help you gain clarity on moving forward and on moving in a new and powerful direction.